I'm here in the cockpit of the A350, not the real one, but the mock-up at the Paris Air Show. We caught up with the A350 chief engineer, Gordon McConnell, to hear how that first flight went on Friday and how the flight test programme will pan out over the next year or so. We had a tremendously successful first flight on, on Friday, very exciting for of course all the engineers in the programme. Uh, so we're four hours into the flight test programme already. Uh, on Friday we got to 25,000 feet with the aircraft Mach 0.8, uh, looking at handling qualities and flight control checks, so we completed all the points we wanted to on the, on the first flight. So this marks the start of a uh, two and a half thousand hour flight test programme up to certification uh, with five aircraft in, in the programme. Uh, MSN-1 will be joined uh, in the autumn by the second uh, heavy instrumented flight test airplane, MSN-3. Uh, and then after that we'll have the first cabin airplane which is actually MSN-2. Uh, we'll, we'll join the flight test program as well and that will be very important because it's the first time we'll really be able to evaluate the, the cabin systems uh, and the cabin comfort of the aircraft so that will be an exciting day as well. Uh, so then after that we'll have uh, two more aircraft in the flight test program, uh, MSN 4 and 5. Uh, MSN 4 is uh, going to do the noise flight testing and MSN 5 will be devoted to ETOPS and reliability uh, flying. So that this test programme will culminate in the, the certification uh, in the second half of next year uh, before we deliver to our, our first customer, Qatar. So all being well, when we gather at the next air show in Farnborough a year from now, the A350 will be very close to going into service with Qatar Airways. Max Kingsley-Jones, Flight Global at the Paris Air Show.